Write numerical and algebraic expressions. Our objective in this lesson is to write verbal phrases as simple numerical or algebraic expressions. For example, we want to write the phrases that will come, will show up here as a numerical expression. First example, divide 15 by 3, then add 13. So we want to write this sentence, which is written in words, we want to write it in numerical expression. A numerical expression is an expression that contains numbers and operations. So we will first look here. We divide 15 by 3. This is the first part. So 15 divided by 3. We translate it into numbers and operation symbol like this. 15 divided by 3. Then add 13. So we will just put the plus 13. And this is now the numerical expression. Another example, subtract 4 from 20, then divide by 2. Again, we have the first part, subtract 4 from 20. And subtract 4 from 20 looks like this, 20 minus 4. And because we have subtraction, and then we have division, so we will put here a bracket or a parenthesis first to, to make sure that this part is the first part. Because remember the order of operations, with, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS means that the parenthesis comes before anything. So because we want to subtract before we divide, so we put parenthesis on the subtract, subtraction. Then we put divided by 2, the second part. Okay, another example. Add 9 and 4. Then multiply by 2. Again, we have here add, then multiply. And because we have add first, and addition cannot come before multiplication unless we put parentheses. So we will write 9 plus 4 inside parentheses like this, then multiply by 2. Okay, numerical expressions were easy. Let us look at the phrases if we want to write them as algebraic expressions. And algebraic expressions means that they do not only contain numbers and operations, they, all, they also contain symbols or variables. So, to write verbal phrases as algebraic expressions, follow the steps below. The first step. In words, we describe the situation of the phrase. We use only the most important words. Second step is the variable. We choose a variable to represent the unknown quantity. And the third step is we write the expression. We translate your verbal phrase into an algebraic expression. Let us look at these examples. Write each phrase as an algebraic expression. The first phrase is $8 more than Ryan earned. $8 more than Ryan earned means that let us write it first. The first step is words. The most important words here is $8 more than Ryan earned as a whole. Second step is we find the variable. So let D represent the number of dollars Ryan earned. So we will say that Ryan earned a number of dollars, which I don't know, which is the unknown. So I will write them as D. And the third step is the expression. Let us look here again on the words. Eight dollars more than Ryan earned means more means added to. So Ryan earned a D, then he added eight to it. So the expression is D plus eight. Another example, ten dollars less than the original price. Okay, the first step is words we write $10 less than the original price. The second step is we find the variable. So let P, for example, represent the original price. So the original price, which is unknown, I don't know, I will write it as P. And then the last step is the expression. Let us look here. $10 less than. Less means it's subtracted. Something subtracted from another thing. So $10 means numbers, number 10, less than the original price. 
So is 10 minus P or P minus 10? Of course it is P minus 10. The expression is P minus 10 because it is 10 less than the original price which is P. So we subtract 10 from the original price and not the vice versa. Okay. The last example here we have a word problem like Terry bought a magazine for $5 and two bottles of nail polish. Write an expression to represent the total amount she spent. Then find the total amount if each bottle of nail polish costs $3. Okay, let us look here at the first question first. The first question says that write an expression to represent the total amount she spent. We know that the magazine, one magazine costs $5. She also bought two bottles of nail polish, but we don't know how much does it cost. So, the step number one, the nail polish costs an unknown amount. So, we use D to represent the cost of the nail polish, because I don't know the nail polish costs how much, so I say that D is for one nail polish of a bottle of nail polish okay step number two we know that she bought two bottles of polish plus a magazine so the total cost will look like this the total amount is d dollars for one bottle and d dollars for another bottle of nail polish and five dollars for a magazine so if we count all these together we will have the expression is two multiplied by d plus five 2 times D is for the 2 bottles of nail polish. And this 5 is for the magazine. Okay, so we can write it as D times 2 times D plus 5 or 2D plus 5. So 2D plus 5. Now, let's go back to the example. We want to find the total amount, so the next question here is find the total amount if each bottle of nail polish costs $3. So if D is 3, what will be the amount? So if D is 3, we will replace the D with 3. So in 2D plus 5, we will write instead of D, I will write 3. So 2 multiplied by 3 plus 5, and this will be equal to 6 plus 5 which is equal to 11, so the total amount is $11. Uh, I hope you understand and you like the video. Uh, please subscribe and like it, and to the next video. Bye!